What's the best-selling car of all time? Well, that, as they say, depends on who you believe. Toyota say it's their Corolla. Ford say it's their half-ton pickup. But both those vehicles have changed fundamentally in their lifetimes. But the two great icons of the multi-million sellers are, of course, the Model T Ford and the Volkswagen Beetle. The Model T, of course, is long gone, but incredibly, the Beetle remains in production in Mexico, half a century on. And this, of course, is the spiritual successor to old Beetle, the new Beetle. Famously launched as just a design concept at a Detroit motor show, it went into production through popular demand. Volkswagen initially thought that would only last five years, but now it's been extended to a seven-year production cycle. And this is the latest model in the new Beetle story. V5 engine, 170 brake horsepower. Could it be a poor man's Porsche? Beetle V5 feels very similar to Golf V5 to drive, hardly surprising since they share the same chassis. But you can't get the four-wheel drive synchro version of that chassis in Beetle form. You can only get it in the Golf and the Bora equivalents. Volkswagen recently upped the power output of the V5 engine to 170 brake horsepower. That's to delineate it from the 1.8 turbo petrol engine that delivers just 150 brake. But it doesn't feel like 170 brake horsepower under your foot. It's a very smooth and sophisticated power unit, but it doesn't exactly rip the tarmac apart when you open it up. But despite the power output, economy's not bad. 31 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle. Seventeen inch alloy wheels are part of the package, so there's a lot of rubber on the road, and that means the grip and handling are totally predictable. But make no mistake, you really can throw this beetle around. The shape's pretty familiar by now on the roads. Everybody's seen a beetle, but for how much longer will the retro look remain popular? You'll undoubtedly buy one of these cars because the cheeky shape appeals and you love the character and the flair of it. But do you want it? as an executive saloon. This particular test car is fitted with leather upholstery, a sunroof and what they call winter and weather packs. And all that brings the price up to £19,000 on the road. That's about the same as a V5 Passat and you get a lot more car there for your money. But Volkswagen make no secret of the fact that this is going to be the top of the range car and only 5% of new Beetle owners are going to choose the V5. What it does is to give Beetle a new dimension and especially make it an enjoyable, powerful motorway cruiser. Volkswagen symbol so much more than just 
two letters, and you simply cannot underestimate the degree of affection and appeal that the Beatle exerts on people of all generations. A new Beetle has that same personality in spades, especially when so many cars today look and feel the same. But somehow I just can't help being a little bit disappointed by this V5. On paper it looks marvellous, 170 brake horsepower, but it fails to deliver the excitement that the specification promises. At £17,000, you just have to accept too many compromises in loss of rear seat room and luggage capacity, and there's just too much bare painted metal for an Executive Express. I think the appeal of New Beetle is all about style and image, and on balance, I'd prefer to pay just over £12,000 and have a fun car.